Now after we have got our categories, it's time to get our food collection. So now let's try to fetch them from our Firebase. First let's create a collection called foods or whatever you want. Let's go to Firebase. Firebase. Let's press on go to console. And let's select our project. Let's press on Firestore database. Wow, we have created our collection before called foods and we have one item here. So now let's add the other items. So let's add some foods. For example, let's add new document with auto ID. In our design, we have here in our design, in our products, we have here an image and a title and a rating and price and add to cart button. So now we have to be aware to add those data, the rating, the title, the image, the price, okay? So now, title of our food, for example, is gonna be burger. Image URL is gonna be, let's pick that image, that burger image, let's copy that URL and paste it here. The price is gonna be a number and will be 12 for example and the rating or the rate let's make it also number and let's give him a rate of 4 okay and let's press save now we have two foods here let's add another one now we have here three items of food Every food has a, a rating and a price. Let's let's uh, edit this because here a rate, rate, and here rating. So let's edit that. Oops, it can't be edited. So let's delete it and let's add a field of rate and let's make it a number and let's make it four. Let's add. Look, we have updated in our Firebase Firestore. Now let's get those foods. Okay, here in our code, as we have seen before, we just need to add a use effect hook. Inside the, that use effect, let's type that const subscriber equals to firestore.collection to get the, the, our collection and let's put our collection name and our collection name is food okay and on snapshot that's the response now let's create a variable const foods equals to an empty array and let's add our for each we can copy it from that. Okay, this is gonna be the response for each. And inside, let's replace categories with food, with food. And that set categories is gonna be set food. So let's create a user state hook with foods and set foods okay and now let's go down and set our foods to that foods array uh, is coming from our firebase and finally let's add our return function inside use effect hook now let's copy our foods to see have we successfully get our foods data from firebase or not so let's add console.log our foods and see in our terminal now we can see our data here image URL that's the image of hamburger let's open it let's open it see we have our food correctly so now let's add it inside a flat list so let's add a flat list it is gonna be horizontal too the data is going to be foods. The render item is going to be 
let's to create that component, that component, that food component. But since it, since I don't want to waste your time, it's an at, uh, a UI lesson. It's a React Native Firebase. So let me create that component real quick, and you can copy it from the code that I give you in the description. You can use my code using GitHub page. I push code there. So to not twist our time and to make the video taller, let's create that component real quick, okay? Let's name it here. So now after we have created our food card, so let's render it, food card. Now that's our card, let's give it our data. For example, image is gonna be item dot image URL. I wonder where is the first image. So let's complete our, let's give him the title, item dot title. Let's give it a price, item dot price. For the rating, I have just removed it right now because we're gonna build that rating bar in separate lesson. So I removed it right now. But I'm wondering why the first image here doesn't, I can't get it. Is there a problem with our image? Oh, now I know what's the problem here. Image URL should be like that. It's my bad, sorry. So let's edit that. We cannot edit the key. So let's add a new field, image URL, let's copy that string and add it here and let's update. Now let's get back, now we can see our image right now. What if we add a new food? For example, let's add the food with that image. So now let's add a new document with title, spaghetti. Now let's press save and see our, great. Now we can see our new dish here. So now you have learned how to get data from Firebase. Just you have to install the Firestore package and to use the collection method and to put here the collection name. And don't worry about those red lines because those are type, TypeScript issues and we're gonna fix them inside our TypeScript course. I don't want to confuse you. But don't worry, we're gonna fix those red lines here. Thanks for watching and see you in next videos.